Hello, darlings. Hold on, let me turn this music down a little bit. I don't want Facebook kicking me off saying I'm trying to steal people's music. All right. Oh, see, you can't see still. Don't mind my hair. We're just outside for lacrosse, and I got very windblown. Wow, there's nowhere in here you can see. Got wild hair going on right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw last night at like midnight, I was like, oh, look what I did to my hair. That's what happens when you watch YouTube at like midnight. Let's see if I can get you. Hey, Christy. Hey, girl. Always count them. Christy to be on here. Uh-oh. My little thing's not working, y'all. Okay, there we go. We got something yummy today. Well, it's always yummy in my book. Well, I kind of eat anything, so. God, I'm trying to get you straight. It's got a gangster lean going on. Let me tighten this thing up. Like serious gangster lean. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Woo! Now we're cooking. Okay. So we're making, uh oh. We're making zoodle bowls today. So I already have some chicken going in here. Y'all know I'm trying to get healthy, but like literally the other day, well, first off, happy Sunday. But literally the other day, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm going to get up. I'm going to be healthy. Like, I'm doing it, right? And then the kids were like, we want hash browns. I was like, oh, yeah, y'all, McDonald's is still open for breakfast. This was yesterday. This was yesterday, yesterday morning. McDonald's is still open for breakfast. We'll just head on over there. And I ate freaking McDonald's for breakfast. Like, I need to get it together. So anyways, we're trying to get healthy. So we're gonna go with zoodle bowls today. Our cauliflower rice went over well-ish. Half of the people ate it here. So I'll take four out of seven people. That's good. So I already kind of prepped. Let me take this off because it's cooking up a little bit more. So that's boneless, skinless breast, chicken breast, but you can use any protein. You could use shrimp. I actually made it last night with shrimp and I loved it. So I'm making it again today with chicken. Um, you can make it with just egg. I do have some egg over here. Actually, let me show you everything I have. Um, it was very, very good with shrimp though. So you're gonna use your boneless, skinless breast or whatever protein you want. Green peppers, oh yeah. Red peppers, onions, your scallions, and then some egg, okay? So I already prepped that because I feel like that takes up a lot of time. And then you're using zoodle noodles. So. I didn't feel like taking my little zoodler thing out. Hey! So I just bought these. Is the music too loud, you guys? Uh, just give me a thumbs up or say no or yes or something. Um, I do have a machine from Pampered Chef, the thing that I made the, um, the cauliflower rice with last week, the little thing that the kids grinded the cauliflower up that I think you can zoodle noodles with. So, hey, man. Oh, hi, Matt. Hi, Matt, Matt. Um, so I was lazy and I just bought these instead. Whatever, it works. Instead of noodles, because we're trying to like go low carbish. You're gonna use your sesame seed oil. Thank you, so no? Okay, good. Just let me know if it gets a little loud. Sesame seed oil has a really awesome flavor. You can find it in like the international aisle or like the Asian aisle fish sauce. Now, you'll see whenever I make something like Asian-y, I always use fish sauce. Um, the smell is horrendous. The taste alone is disgusting. But when you put, hey, Lindsay, when you put it in dishes, it's it gives it like a little extra kick. I don't know. I got squeezed ginger because I didn't feel like cutting ginger up. Actually, no, that's a lie. They didn't have any fresh ginger last night at the grocery store. I went to the grocery store at like nine, super late. So I got some squeezed ginger, which worked out really well for me. My favorite thing, y'all, the white pepper. I'm like obsessed with this stuff. Okay, once again, so this is um, ground fresh chili paste. So I just found this in an international aisle. It's very spicy. It's very spicy, so be careful, okay? And then I'm cheating again with the garlic. I could chop it all up. Then we're trying to be a little bit extra healthy and get some greens in, so I have some kale. Where did you find the squeezed ginger? Okay, this is tricky. You're putting me to shame. I haven't even thought about dinner. Oh, you know what though, Lindsay? This actually, okay, so I had this for dinner last night and don't feel about, no, don't. I only have myself together on Sundays for y'all. 
Actually, that's a lie. Hold on one second. Let me, let me show y'all what I just did. And then I'll go back to my other thought. I'm right here. I didn't go far. So I just made a calendar. So these are all A-ships and BB works. So we're going to, so because the kids always come home and they're like, what's for dinner? Or in the morning, I'm like, oh, I need to take meat out. Or I'm halfway down the road and I'm like, oh, I forgot to take meat out. So this, you see how I like highlighted it, put an arrow and so it's on the refrigerator. So now no one can say, what's for dinner? Cause it's like, go look at the calendar guys. And then we get like incorporate some new stuff in here. Yeah. Hey Brandy. So this is, this is our dinner thing. We have tacos, chicken Alfredo, chicken stir fry, pork chops, lasagna. We're going to do a seafood fest one day, pink vodka sauce, tacos, obviously. So we're, um, we're trying to be on point. Trying to. Lindsay, we'll see. You know what? I said this like before we moved here, so like three months ago. Hey, Renata, that I was going to do that and I didn't. But this is not dinner. Um, dinner is actually, hold on, let me see if I can unclip you guys. And I thought about doing this, but then I was like, well, there's not much to show. And then the video is going to be short. This is actually dinner. It's roast. Oh, wow. I just totally fogged the camera up. Hold on. Um, and it was super easy. So it's roast. So I put that in this morning. So that's actually what we're having. I'm just prepping. Um, I have like a little meal prep station. So I'm just prepping this for lunch. And then there my little, don't mind my counter. I need to do some cleaning today. Um, yeah, I'm going to meal prep for lunch because being on day work, I've been eating out a lot and hello, I don't have pockets like that. Okay. All right. And how am I going to start eating better if I'm like eating out all the time? I know there are good options to eat out, but I don't make good choices. Okay. Hello, my name is Renee and I don't make good food choices when I go out. Hey, Lance. There's my, there's my um, confession for the day. Okay. So we're going to, I'm put the chicken back on now that I've just talked it dry. I am finally getting used to this gas cooking, guys. Remember how I was like, I don't know if I like it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you know what? Is it dark in here? Let me see. Hold on. Let me turn the light on. Is that any better at all? Last week when I was cooking, Brian came in and he was like, why are you cooking? He's like mouthing it to me behind me because I was still doing the video. He's like, why don't you have the light on? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. Okay. So we're going to start with the chicken, obviously. And I really, really, really like ginger. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you a lot. I think I opened it already last night. Um, so I'm gonna do a whole tablespoon of ginger because I just love it. So see how it comes out like like a, a good tablespoon. This is probably a little bit more than a tablespoon, but that's okay. We're gonna do a tablespoon of the ginger. And okay, remember how I said this is like super, super spicy? Um, we're gonna do to get some more um little measuring things that's what I need to do we're gonna only do a half a tablespoon of this chili because it's it's not a joke y'all it ain't a joke y'all it's very spicy and then I got my garlic going on um, I'm very liberal with my garlic so I don't know and I'd be lying if I said, oh, I'm putting in blah, blah, blah. I just put in as much as I want. Don't forget to share where you found the ginger, not baby. <laughs> oh, right. See, you see how... <laughs> Sorry that I get off track, guys. Okay. The ginger was... Okay, so you know how they have like those random little displays in the vegetable and fruit aisle? So this was between the vegetables and the fruits on this little thing with like the dried spices, I guess, but not the ones like, not the McCormick ones, but like um, dried mint, stuff like that, dried parsley. And then under it was caramel apple dip, like super random, right? So I, I don't, I actually wasn't even looking for it. It just caught my eye. Hey, Ash. And I was like, what is that? And then I was like, oh, I'm going to make something with this tonight. So that's where I got that. So we have our ginger in there. We have our garlic. We have our, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, our chili powder. Yeah. So now I'm going to put my zoodles in. 
Last night I cooked, so the first time I ever had zoodles, I, whoopsies, I cooked them, like, and I didn't want them to be, like, super mushy. I didn't, like, know. You're both in the, <laughs> I love it. That's partner love right there. I love it. I didn't know, like, the consistency that it was going to have, so I, I didn't cook them long enough. And that's fine if you like them a little al dente, because some people like their pasta a little al dente. But last night, I let these cook a whole lot longer, and they were, oh my god. I'm like, I may not have to eat pasta that much, because, like, these, this is delicious. Like, super delicious. And so, for those of you who have a garden, we don't have one this year, because we have less acreage than we did in past years. So, I'm kind of sad about that. But, um, if you get zucchinis or you grow zucchinis and squash you know how you have a billion of them and every year I'm like what do I do with all like I what do I do with these I take them to the firehouse or hey Liz whatever no now I'm gonna make zoodles hello I'm gonna make zoodles I actually think I might try this is like one of the things I was thinking about before I went to bed last night like can I get a big pot and just grow them out of the pot you know how they do the upside down tomatoes, like the hanging pot for tomatoes? Can I do that with zucchini? I mean, not like super upside down because I know they're heavier than tomatoes, but like build some sort of like contraption where they're growing out of the ground. Does that make sense? If y'all know what I mean, yeah, you can give me a thumbs up or something, I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to put our green and our red and our onions and our scallions and our eggs in. So you might be wondering like, why are you putting eggs in? Just a little bit. A little bit um, more protein. I'm making a huge mess on the floor, a huge one. And of course, this is something that the dogs and cat aren't gonna eat. So, I'm gonna bring y'all over here real quick so you can just see this deliciousness because it's amazing. Look at this. You can't even see the zoodles. I put them underneath so that they can kind of get cooked up, but let's start to stir. So, I'm going to taste it, but you know what, guys? I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to do a little bit more chili powder. Or ch I'm sorry, chili sauce. I don't know. We'll see. So, let's not forget. Oh, hey! Yeah. We grow zucchini and cucumbers and always have way too many. Yes! You take them to the local food pantry. That is an awesome idea. That's a really good idea. That's great. Because then they're not going bad. Because I hate when stuff goes bad. Ugh, it drives me crazy. What? Oh, as Ash said, you add egg. You don't like, Ash, you don't have to put eggs in. I know, it's kind of strange. But this is a, like a um, Thai zoodle bowl. Is that, that's what I'm going to call it. So... There you go. Let's put our, my favorite in. Did I already put this in? I don't think so. Um, just a little sprinkle. I'm like obsessed with that stuff, guys. Okay, so the sesame oil, like I said, it just gives it like a little extra flavor, but also it kind of makes it like low main, kind of. If you are good at lying to yourself about what you're eating and you <laughs> can trick your brain, like, okay, I'm really not eating noodles right now. I'm eating zucchini. This might help because it makes it kind of greasy-ish. Um, it's full of fat, so that's great for me trying to eat healthy. You see? But what else? That's per um, one tablespoon. I literally probably just put one tablespoon in there, so I can sleep tonight. I can live with myself. Oh my gosh, guys. If you guys could smell this right now. Mm, mm, mm. You be, you be coming over to my house. You will be coming over. Hey, Dina. Because this smells amazing. Makes me want to eat this now, but it's not even dinner time. What time is it? Alexa, skip. Oh, it's only 4 o'clock. I'm starving. Okay. So now for the fish sauce. Okay, so like I said, guys, try it out. If you're super unsure about it, don't put it in your whole thing. Take a little bit out. Put it on a plate. Put some fish sauce on it, mix it up really well. Maybe just do a couple drops and then taste it. Don't think about the name. I know the name can kind of turn you off like, ugh, fish sauce. 
Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. So do you want me to read it to you or do you not want me to read it to you? Are you never going to try it if I read it? Okay. Um, anchovies, <laughs> water, salt, and sugar. But you know what? That's okay. You know why? Because uh, apparently I like anchovies. Do you guys like to eat it out back? Their Caesar dressing, that little kick, that's anchovies. And it's delicious, and I love it, and I'm not going to stop eating it. So when people say, oh, anchovies, I'll be like, mm, girl, I love anchovies. Okay, so let's put some fish sauce in there. Just a little bit. Guys, I hope that you don't hate that I don't, I literally don't really measure stuff. But whatever, I don't know. I'm going to put a tablespoon. You know what, I lied. I'm going to put a tablespoon and a half. Now, back to this. So like I said, we're trying to eat more greens. We're trying to eat healthy, blah, blah, blah. This just gives a little bit of extra color. Kind of like a filler too. Um, and I just cover it up and that's it. And I'm going to turn the heat down. Oh, nope, it's already low. And I'm going to stir this in a little bit. And then I'm going to let it cook for five more minutes. And then that's it. And it's done. And normally... You know what, I can still, even though I'm meal prepping, I can still show you what it looks like when it's finished, when I put in my little meal prep things, because I have um, three other meals that I have to, so the smell right now, ugh, it's not good. But um, that's okay, I like it. Oh, remember when I said I was gonna put more chili powder in here? I keep calling it chili powder. Chili paste with a little rooster on it. I am, I'm gonna put some in, just a little bit more. Like I don't, whatever, we'll be okay. If it's super spicy, stop to drink more water. You know what? Maybe I'll start tricking myself and making stuff extra spicy because then maybe I'll drink some water instead of um, Dos Equis or anything but water. Actually, you guys know what I've been drinking a lot. So I stopped drinking coffee like two months ago and you guys know that I love coffee. I was like a four or five cup of coffee person. And I started drinking tea and I'm obsessed with it now. Actually, yesterday, I got some coconut mango tea and it was delicious. I drank it this morning and I just curled up in my little chair with my little coffee and it was amazing. Um, so I've been drinking a lot of tea during the day and I try not to put sugar in there, but I know I need to drink water. I've had like three kidney stones too. Like I need to drink water. I need to stop messing around. Okay, so if you guys are unfamiliar with kale, you saw how much kale I put in there, right? I want to show you how it's going to cook down. So, wow, my hair is super crazy, guys. We were outside, hey Tamika, at a lacrosse game, and the wind was blowing. I was blind for like 15 minutes as we drove home because, hey Miranda, it, it was freezing. If you guys have been outside today for more than five minutes, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I had like frozen snot on my face, my eyes were watering, my lips are super dry, they're still super dry. Um, my fingers are tingling right now because they were freezing cold because of course I don't have gloves because who has gloves out? You know, all of our gloves are packed up with our winter stuff. Who has gloves out in April? Well, I guess us. If you live in Maryland, you need to have your gloves out. Just FYI. Okay, so everyone who's just joining in, we're making a zoodle bowl. So we have zucchini noodles, which is not even that many zucchini noodles in here, actually. Um, zucchini noodles. We have kale. Hey, Janet. Kale, zucchini noodles, we have chicken, we have egg. So ash, see the egg isn't even that, like you can't even really see it that much. We have onion. I just use regular onion. Normally I use red onion for something like this, but today just regular onion. We have red pepper, we have green pepper. We have fish sauce. We have sesame oil. We have my favorite, white pepper. We have this, burn a hole in ya. Thanks for joining, Janet. Zoodles are my new favorite thing, right? That's chili paste. That's what I was saying, like, if you guys have a garden and you have all those extras, zoodle, hello. And if you live near me, or I say near me, like I don't drive 800 miles a week, in ginger. Um, oh my gosh, look how windblown I am. It's, let me stop playing, my hair always looks terrible. Okay, um, if you have extra zucchinis, let me have them so that I can make zoodles. Welcome to Mary. Right? You tried to put away the heavy jet. And then at the game, someone just said that on Thursday it's going to be 90. <laughs> We're all going to die by the end of the week. We're all going to have pneumonia. Right? Do y'all's parents say that? You're going to have pneumonia. You're going to catch pneumonia. I heard parents out there yelling, zip your cup. You're going to catch a cold. I'm like, mm. 
it's not quite how you catch a cold, but I'm just gonna let it slide, because you know what, I say the same thing to my kids, so, and they believe me. It makes them zip their coat, because me just saying, hey kids, zip your coat, isn't enough. But if I say, you're gonna get sick, then they'll zip their coat. It's funny how that works. I know, but you know what, I'm not even gonna complain, because spring is finally here, and I'm gonna love it. And I'm not one of those people, when it's a thousand degrees outside, who's like, ugh, I wish it was winter, nope. 70 is about the coolest I like, and I like it to be about 99. That's my hot. Like, I love that. At the beach, I'm the person frying to death on the sand. I love it. Because I'm always freezing. Like, my hands and feet are always cold. BB actually always says that I'm probably going to have to get an early amputation of my feet. And we laugh. If you're not in the healthcare, healthcare field, you may not think that's funny. Um, and for people who do have amputations, that's definitely not funny, but he's... He's saying that my circulation is poor, is what that means. Alexa, off. Um, my circulation is very poor. It is. It's terrible. Sorry, I just screamed at Alexa. Brian always says, you always talk so mean to Alexa, but she doesn't listen. She don't listen, girl, don't listen. Okay. So, you can see, it makes like a sauce. Can you see? Oh, yes. You love the heat, too? Yes, Renata. It's amazing. I love it. I cannot wait until... The summer is here. I really can't. Oh my gosh. So, you're probably wondering why I called this a zoodle bowl and there's really not that many zoodles in there. Well, because I used half of them for my dinner last night. So, if you're going to make a double serving, probably use a container and a half or don't be lazy and actually make your own zoodles so that you actually have zoodles. Thanks, Janet. It's very good too. If you don't like spicy, Janet, don't use that white pepper. The white pepper stuff that I use, this, um, don't let it fool you. It's got some kick. It's very tasty, though. It's not like black pepper at all, obviously. It's called white pepper. I love it, though. That's all I've been using. I normally don't put a lot of salt and pepper on my food, but I love the white pepper. So don't use the um, white pepper. And definitely don't use the chili paste. The fish sauce is not spicy. Um, and nothing else is spicy. The, the ginger gives it a really good flavor. So I'm going to turn this off. Then I'm going to put these into my meal prep bowls. And I will take pictures of our meal prep because I'm also meal prepping chicken stir fry, chicken quinoa bowls, um, something else too. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make some more uh, cauliflower rice. Our family. Oh, then you do. Okay. You like the spicy. All right. Have you ever used the chili paste before? There's chili paste and then there's this stuff. Let me show you the other stuff. Um, this Thai kitchen. I think this is the spicy one. There's one that's not spicy and it, yeah, I think that is the spicy one. Mm, it's very good. My kids will not eat spicy. <laughs> My kids will not eat spicy food. Hey, Tanisha, but do you guys know those, um, what are those long, red like they're not cheetos they're called um and they're really hot they like are little mini taquitos but they don't they come in a bag uh darn it does anyone know you have to give it a dry yeah janet let J janet let me know hey let me know if you guys like it does anyone know the the little snack i'm talking about Ta they're not taquitos now i say taquitos and taquitos in my head they look like taquitos. Anyways, so my kids won't eat spicy, but they love these little snacks. Hot fries. No, oh, those two. Not hot fries. Hey, Billy. Um, fue... Uh, hold on. I have to find it because it's going to make me so mad. Um, oh, we, oh, shoot. Okay, well, we have the generic kind. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys the bag, and I want you to tell me what, what these are called shoot of course they're just called okay do you see that picture though this is like what the regular Takis yes thank you Billy Takis my kids will tear Takis up like just eat them even Jet when he was two he would eat Takis let me tell you guys something I read a whole article and if you read on the internet it must be true about how Takis are ruining the lining Yes, did you see the picture, Janet? And you know Takis? Okay. Y'all, don't let your kids eat them. Okay? And I actually believe this because it makes sense. It's not just one of those, like, 
fake news things that they put out on Facebook so people get all crazy scared and stuff. I, okay, I love them, but don't eat them because they are rotting out people's stomach linings. And for kids, they're really not good for kids. So we fight all the time. You probably couldn't see where I grabbed them from that I grabbed them off the top shelf because the, the kids continue to eat them even though I tell them, it's going to burn holes in your stomach. But it's, it's probably something, it's not the red dye, but what like the chili something is irritating people's stomach linings. Um, if you grow up eating spicy food like that, it probably won't bother you. But when you're a little chicken nugget and french fry kid, because that's what my kids are, that's all they eat is chicken nuggets and french fries and plain noodles. The two little ones, the seven-year-old and three-year-old, they won't eat real food. Um, and then you go to something like Takis, uh, it's going to get your butt. Well, and that's what I say too. Like, doesn't your butt burn? Like, it's going to burn your butt when you go poop. Please stop eating them. <laughs> I love Takis. They love spicy stuff. Okay, Janet, I bet your kids will be fine because your kids sound like they eat regular food. My kids won't eat regular food. They are the worst when it comes, I shouldn't say kids, because my nine-year-old is amazing. And I never have any problems with her eating stuff. Like, Phoenix, try this, and then she'll try it. But the seven-year-old and three-year-old, the three-year-old's favorite thing is, that's disgusting. And if it's not plain noodles or chicken nuggets or french fries, he doesn't want any part of it. So, but Jane, I bet your kids are fine because you somehow put some voodoo on them and <laughs> they eat regular food. So you don't have to scream at them every dinner time to please eat their food. Please eat your food. Please eat your food. Please eat your food. So lucky you. Do you like them, Janet? I love them personally. That's why I still have a bag of them here, even though my stomach gets jacked up. I love them. Like I like to eat them and go like... <sighs> Ooh, oh gosh, it's so hot. Ugh, ugh. I love them. And then I'll like, my fingers will turn bright red and I'm like, mm, licking them. I love Takis, but I've had to sacrifice for the kids because I know if I bring them in the house, they will eat them. Why did y'all not say, Renee, your hair looks super crazy. The wind, so I had the jacket on like this and the wind was just like, just blowing my hair all over, all over. I tried to like pin it back to make it not look so cray cray, but it didn't work. It didn't work. All right, so now I have to start um, doing some stuff with our real dinner tonight, which I showed you guys is this roast, which I bet is done or close to done. I keep doing that like the steam's not going to burn the whole, <sighs> the whole screen up. I'm so silly. So we're having that, and we're having wide noodles, the wide um, these. So I'll make these, and then we'll put that over top of them and maybe have some bread. At first, I was like, oh, it's not really the season for that. Yes, it is. It's freezing outside. So once again, welcome to Maryland, right? All right, guys. I hope you guys have a good week. I can't believe it's Sunday already. I'm like, I can't even. Hey, Kelly, I can't even believe that I have to go to freaking work tomorrow. Ugh. <laughs> oh. You guys have a great week. If anyone tries the Zoodle Bowl, please let me know. I can show you now that it's all settled and done. It looks either amazing or someone will say, ew, that looks disgusting, but I promise you it is very good. And I'm getting in a ton of vegetables, so that means tomorrow I can go back to eating McDonald's, right? Yeah. All right, guys, have a great week. Thank you for joining me again. Talk to you later.